friends, welcome again to my class. Today, my students in my reading and writing skills class will discuss to us about causal analysis. So they will define the nature of causal analysis as an essential mode of paragraph development. So as they will show to us the practicality of causal analysis in applying it to problem solving type of papers. So please check this out. Hello and good morning. We are the group 8 and our topic for today is Introduction to Casual Analysis. So what is casual analysis? It is a field of experimental design and statistics pertaining to establishing cause and effect. Typically, it involves establishing four elements, correlation, sequence in time, a plausible physical or information, theoretical mechanism for an observed effect to follow from a possible cause, and eliminating the possibility of common and alternative causes. Such analysis usually involves one or more artificial or natural experiments. So here are the questions to consider. Is there an effective introduction? Is there an, a clear and effective thesis? What are the causes discussed? And what are the effects discussed? Which one does the writer focus on? Is there a good conclusion? And does the author propose a solution? The aim of casual analysis paper is to either show the consequences of a certain cause and effect and vice versa. This is best explored through an essay in which the questions answered why. The overall conclusion is usually intended to prove a point, speculate a theory, or disapprove a common belief. This could also be explained through a physio physiological narrative by, its, by saying it tries to answer the why in our lives by clarifying the world in which we inhabit. So therefore, the casual analysis can be said to help us comprehend the complex series of events that shape our life. So here is an outline about casual analysis. It is best to decide on a topic you wish to explore and something that has meaning or has a subject area already known about. Think carefully about the causes and effect that could transpire from a given area or topic, and also perhaps something that is controversial and open to discussion. It, it may not be possible to fully write both the causes and effects, so keep in mind that it can be stronger to the point to conclude in the paper. That's all for my part. Thank you. A causal analysis essay is often defined as cause and effect writing because paper aims to examine diverse causes and consequences related to actions, behavioral patterns, and events as for reasons why they happen and the effects that take place afterwards. In practice, students have to include causal claims that contain strong argumentation. One has to prove and tell that there is an obvious relationship between two particular events where one is an effect of another. A purpose to such essay type is to define and evaluate all sides related to cause and effect dilemma. Choosing a topic idea, it is sufficient to simply state that global warming, as an example, is caused by chemical plants. One has to include an outcome with personal consideration and causal analysis. The trick here is in correct structure where student tries to persuade his or her audience like in a letter of intent. As college professors check their papers, they seek on what is causal analysis, always looking out for structure parts. How to write a causal analysis essay structure. 
A good argumentative topic has to be chosen that can be analyzed and put through lens of cause and effect thinking. Preferred topic has to be inspiring and relevant for target audience. Therefore, we will proceed with a list of topics soon. Having good topics available. In case you already have one, always proceed with a thesis statement. We have intentionally placed thesis statement first because it's vital to come up with one before starting with an essay outline. In causal analysis essay, thesis statement should be one or two sentences that sum up the main points of your paper. Theses should not simply include certain statements, but show causal analysis and outline all upcoming points that follow. In this case, include exact cause and effect in question with a brief explanation as to why they are examined. One should also consider if focus is on causes or on effects, as there can be two methods. So up next, I will be discussing about how to write a causal, causal analysis essay structure. So introduction. In an introduction paragraph, one has to create a setting for a situation discussed. It has to be a sentence or two that introduce topic importance or relevance for society. Make readers interested and connect introduction to chosen thesis statements vision. If listing three to five uh, reasons in a <clears throat> in a statement, remember that that it has to follow in body paragraphs exactly in an order as in a thesis outline. Up next is body paragraphs. This is where students basically have to prove ideas taken from thesis statements. If focusing only on causes, it will make essay incomplete unless specified by college in structure. When causal analysis is involved, it has to be examined each part, both cause and effect essay elements separately it has to be done so that because details and examples of causes are have to be given first to let the audience understand and analyze analyze typically it's paper's first body paragraph next ex explores effects of these causes speak of an impact final body paragraph has overall Causal analysis that helps reader to understand why it is particular position has been taken. If necessary, include statistics and backup information that is not widely known by reliable sources. And lastly, we have conclusion, which has, a, has to rule out any confusion and once again connect cause and effect elements. Thesis has to be mentioned in different words and briefly explained. As a rule, and causal analysis essay with a call to action or sentence that will make readers think and want to analyze topic or greater depth. Now, after that, we could use some tips on writing our causal analysis essay or a cause and effect essay. So, the first tip is, when writing a causal analysis essay, do not only list down the causes and effects, but also make an aim or Try to prove something or provide a analytical counter-argument to a popular belief. And for you to be able to prove a point in your topic, you should also ask yourself why and how, since why and how is the basis or fundamentals of a causal analysis. It's about asking yourself why. For example, in cyberbullying, your topic is cyberbullying. You must ask yourself why and how. Why does cyberbullying happen? How does cyberbullying happen? So on so forth. After asking yourself why and how, you can think of some points to some points to prove or more ideas that will come up in your head afterwards. After you think those why's and how's. Next, in the thesis statement or the question of your essay, one should make it clear whether you are focusing on the causes or you're focusing on the effects or maybe you are focusing on both so another tip is to always have a sense of creativity a sense of creativity produces more angles and more perspectives that will help the writer 
piece the information much more better together so that it could support the statement of the problem and help make a much more better essay. So the next tip is when you are discussing your causes in your essay, remember to be as descriptive and informative as possible. You should offer sufficient evidence for claims. You should provide examples that are backed up by sources, classifications, and statistics. Because the why and hows that you have thought beforehand might not be too accurate or might, ha might not have enough evidence for your causal analysis. Next, in writing of effects, it's recommended to use a comparison and contrast style of writing in order to make a much more clearer outcome. So the next step is to avoid any confusion or cluttering up of ideas, you need to check if there is several causes within one effect or one cause with multiple effects. And the importance of checking to see if there is stuff like this is that maybe the reader will be confused. Like, wasn't there supposed to be another cause in this effect? Wasn't there supposed to be another effect in this cause? Other than those, you should also check if there is a causal chain and if there is a faulty causal T. So the next and last tip ju is just like any other essay, your introduction needs to have a strong hook. It needs to connect information and have a nice main topic question or statement of the problem. And also, just like any other essay, your conclusion needs to not have introduced any new ideas. And it also needs to only summarize the main body points that links to your statement of the problem. There you go, mga classmates. You just have heard the different point of views of my students. So if you want to share your thoughts and opinions too, please comment down. And don't forget to click the notification bell in order for you to be updated if I have new videos. And don't forget to subscribe because as I usually say, subscribe now, laugh and learn later. Once again, ito na naman yung gurong vlogger ng Quit. Kuro sa umaga, YouTuber and live streamer paggabi saying God bless you all and always keep safe. Bye!